Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today on this Tuesday morning. I'm Lisa Badeau here with Chris Berg. Are you excited for it being the 15th of January? I'm shocked is what I am. Can you believe it's the 15th already? I know. Time goes by fast. I want January to go fast and <laughs> February, too, so we can get to, like, May, June, July. Yeah, it's a nice warm weather. The sun is out past, you know, 4.30 in the afternoon. and I know. Well, we're we're going in the right direction, we I are. guess, as far as sunlight. But uh, today it's going to be like the last okay temperature-wise day and then several days of just what we know of January in North Dakota, Minnesota. So be prepared. It's going to be cold. I know I did see at the end of the seven-day, though, things will improve. I don't know if that will last very long. So it's 22. still only the middle of January. All you need to know is 22. <laughs> Below. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be cold. So just be prepared for that. Yes. Okay, I want to get right to this video. I, I, it's shocking. Um, we want to start this morning with some video that has been going viral on social media. And it's really from right next door in Minnesota. You, you have to see it, actually, to even believe it. Police in Mankato, Minnesota, say a toddler, amazingly, is okay after falling out of a car while strapped into a car seat. Take a look. That's, that's, that's a baby there in a car seat. Uh, the incident was caught on dash cam video recorded yesterday morning by a man who was driving behind the vehicle. It shows a two-year-old oh. girl falling from the vehicle. And then, as you can see, uh, the man gets out of his car, stops, and rushes over to help. And, uh, of course, also, like, stops traffic. You can, I feel like he kind of slows down, like, is this really what I'm seeing here? Uh, the man, car just keeps going. Yeah. The car that, it, yeah, that the child fell out of. I don't know. Mankato police say the child's mother was driving when her daughter fell out of the car, but that the little girl wasn't hurt. Uh, police also say she was properly fastened inside the seat, as you can see, but the car seat itself was not attached to the car, obviously. And I don't know. It's not clear yet why the door opened, why the mom didn't stop. Uh, of course, as you would imagine, the girl's mother could face charges. <clears throat> it's insane. It doesn't even seem real. And then it's in Mankato, Minnesota, which is just... Wow. I know. Can you believe it? I guess it does tell you how car seats really can protect a child, though. I guess I was yeah, shocked, horrified, point. and then I was like, thank goodness, you know, she was in that car seat and look how it held up. And Wow. I can't believe it. It's like terrifying. Can you imagine? I... I don't know if your daughter ever did this, but you know, my kids always like, you know, they're playing with the window or the, I was you know, it's always say like, that. don't, don't do that, you know. I wonder if maybe she was just like, ooh, what's this do, you know? Yeah, then, you know, they, 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 can't, they can't stop themselves. She was only two. Right. I don't know, it seems. Isabella all the time would be like, you know, playing with stuff and you're like, okay, I better put this thing on full lockdown, you know? Yeah. But I suppose older cars don't necessarily have that same, you know, child Thank safety goodness. locks. I mean, holy cow, that was just. So stay tuned for updates. I'm sure we'll we'll learn more. This is just from yesterday, but yeah. this video is just insane. So hopefully that little girl. I mean, she seemed like she was sort of just, just like in shock, just <laughs> chilling, right? Like, I know. Oh my, Didn't look like she on? was moving, right? Well, because it would have been a rocky ride, yeah. no matter what. Just the the impact, for sure. Whew. Well, a new commercial from Gillette is flipping the script on. It's best a man can get tagline by addressing toxic masculinity in the age of the Me Too movement. It's getting a lot of attention already. Let's take a look. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But something finally changed. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Once, but she says he's a And there will be no going back. Because we. We believe in the best in men. Men need to hold other men accountable. Smile, sweetie. Come on. To say the right thing. To act the right oh, way. Bro, not cool, not cool. Some already are. In ways big. Yo, men, we're And small. I am strong. I am strong. But some is not enough. It's not how we treat each other, okay? Okay. Because the boys watching today will be the men of tomorrow.
Gillette said on its website it was time brands acknowledged uh, the role that they played in influencing culture. However, the ad's message was met with some backlash from some with claims it was too political. The YouTube video has been viewed more than 2.8 million times with almost 250,000 dislikes while others took to social media to respond to the campaign. The company said it would donate $1 million per year for the next three years to nonprofits that carried out programs in the U.S. designed to help men become role models for the next generation. And actually, when I watched this, it kind of reminded me of, and I know you work with them too, the, uh, our local rape and abuse crisis center. Mm -hmm. They have, uh, it's not even new anymore. I don't think the campaign is, you know, really targeting men and how men can take on a different role. And when they first came out with that, I was like, wow, that's, you know, they were ahead of their time, I guess, with, because this just came out, but... You know, it starts the conversation, which, of course, is always a good thing. Very good thing. I mean, I don't like the term toxic masculinity. And there was a guy that I used to watch. He's got a great book. was a former NFL player, coached high school sports. And he says, you know what? The problem right now with men, or not the problem, but one of the challenges is that how do you measure a man these days? What would you say to that? Well, what's your answer to that? So, like he talks about, <clears throat> too often you go out there and I... I know this, I mean, I've lived this obviously as a, as a man. We go out there and go, okay, it's sexual prowess, economic prowess, athletic prowess, like those are the measurements. And he's going, wait a second, we need to flip the script here and talk about, okay, how do you build a man with integrity, empathy, compassion, you know, all these different sort of traits that for a guy, I mean, think about it, in our time, if you see a guy crying, it's like, come on, dude, walk it off, put some dirt on that thing, you know what I mean? Like, so he's trying to flip the script and really say, look, it's it's, okay to go out there and be an empathetic man have a man with compassion and so often you see you know those situations where i don't want to get too deep here because it's 9 or 7 in the morning but uh you measure guys in in different ways and it sort of creates this perpetual thing where it's hard for some young people especially if you don't have a dad in the house to break the pattern so don't like the term toxic masculinity but i love the sort of message about hey we can sort of flip the script here and I think we need to change the culture. So I love that it's starting the conversation. And obviously, yeah. we probably have you know somewhat different views in things. But um, yeah, maybe I have to read that book. Does he have a plan for how you change things? I love to see a man cry. It's like, oh, look at he is in touch with you know <laughs> his feminine side, and that's a good thing. So I never say toughen up or rub some dirt in it and, and jump up. So, but you know. And that's kind of his his message was like you know it shows strength to be able to show your emotions. I mean, anybody mm -hmm. can sort of cut them off, but just when you're out there as a young man, you know, playing sports or doing the things that young guys do, I, mean, I remember that. Guys would be crying and we'd all be like, come on, you know, you'd kind of jump on them. And so it's, um, I think it's a good conversation to at least say, okay, how do we at least redefine? And that's the biggest problem. I mean, you don't have any sons, but if you talk to, to young men, it's like, who's teaching you to be a man? There's no real book. There's no real script. There's no real nothing. Well, it's dads should be, other men should be teaching men. And you're right, I have two daughters, but it terrifies me to uh, think that they could. I think things are changing. Generation, generation by generation, things will change. And I don't want them to be treated, you know, the same way as women have been treated in the past. So, you know, I support change. And even though I don't have sons, I, I would support this and, and hope that my daughters are only with men who respect Women, I mean, you have a daughter, so to think about, yeah. you know, locker room talk and, <clears throat> you know, the sexual prowess, that's terrifying to think that my little girl could be, you know, looked at in that way. So oh, yes, I, I might have that. a little future president in my house. Exactly. You never know, you know. The sky is the limit <clears throat> for our girls. No doubt about it. All right. On a much lighter note, uh, nearly a year it took for this to be broken. Kylie Jenner. <laughs> had held the record for the most liked photo on Instagram. Most thought it could never be topped. Uh, she, did, we did something on self-made millionaire. I mean, she is like billionaire. Yeah. billionaire. Uh, but an account with just one photo, a picture of an egg, set out to beat the record. <laughs> and, and it did just that. The picture was posted January 4th with the caption, let's set a world record together and get the most likes on a Instagram post beating the current world record held by Kylie Jenner. And she had 18 million. Uh, we got this, it said. Jenner's birth announcement of her daughter Stormy Webster from February 2018 had 
been the previous title holder with 18 million, 18 million likes. You know, I've been hearing about this egg and I had to look it up and I was like, is, am I really seeing this right? Okay, well, and this was Jenner trying to poke some fun at it. She yeah. uh, uh, posted a, a meme <clears throat> of her trying to fry an egg on hot concrete with uh, the caption, take that little egg. Did you see the, the meme with like Stormy, the baby inside the egg? No. Yeah, I was like, that's the best of both worlds. <laughs> I know. I was asking, uh, you know, people in the newsroom today, I'm like, is there a, is there a secret meeting behind the egg? <laughs> no, I don't think there is. But I thought, right? Did I... I thought, there more, meeting, like, I thought there was more to it. And they're like, nope, it's just an egg. Just an egg, yeah. Just an egg. And but I think they said, hey, let's break the record. And they were trying to, you know, egg, pun intended, egg people on. So clearly it worked. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that uh, Jenner or uh, a Kardashian will do something that will break the egg record. You know, it's interesting. We were talking about the measurements of a man. And what's stunning to me is how many, like, millennials you talk to and their identity is around like Instagram likes and how they yeah. measure, you know, and you're like, okay, let's not get into that world because that is a very, not a good place to go. That can be toxic. Oof. Thank you. There's, that, that's a good use of toxic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's tough. I, I limit, uh, my daughter is on Instagram. She's like, oh, I got, you know, this many. I'm like, but I limit, like I limit, you have like 20 friends because that's what I've, I have to know the people to be able to follow you. So right. you're not going to get 18 million, not yet anyway. So. But I mean, the head games that like, you hear about oh. 18 million and you're like, oh, I got 20, it's just thou shall not covet. Let's just leave it at that. Right. <laughs> Otherwise, I would go home crying every day because my Instagram <laughs> posts do not Your get Instagram that many. Yeah, you know, million. it's like the millennials, they like post an egg and then it's like, pow, like hundreds of <laughs> likes, you know, and I'm like, I spent a lot of time trying to get this perfect picture. Yeah. Of, no, I don't guess I don't spend that much. I need to pick up my, my social media game a little bit here in the new year. It's very time consuming. Or do the Ed Sheeran thing and just get rid of it. Yeah. Well... You know, he was doing pretty well before he got rid of it, though, too. So, That's true. you know, at that level. Okay, we want to remind you this morning that we are doing a special giveaway that you don't want to miss out on. Chris has the book there. Author CJ English has some signed copies of her book, Rescue Matters, which shares the amazing stories of the Turtle Mountain rescue dogs. You can win a copy by registering online. We've made it very easy. Just go to valleynewslive.com or ndtoday.com. TV, and we have a winner today. Today's winner is Susan Peterson of Fargo. Congratulations. It's awesome. And that's her book, so we can't keep it. This is, yeah, this Susan, this is your book. Congratulations. Um, I've got one myself now. I'm, I'm going to. Have you start, started reading it? I have not, but I'm looking forward to it. I saw, I mean, we've had CJ, oops, sorry, we've had CJ on the show before, and um, she's fantastic, but she had this great project. She's like, you know what? I want, we're helping all these dogs. We need to get the message out, and um, I miss those puppies. I wish they were here like every week. <laughs> right? Oh, they were so cuddly. I know. So Did we ever got a puppy bowl with them? <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl puppy bowl. Yeah. It's Do like a up. whole week of just <laughs> cameras and footage. And... We need to get a little music so we also don't need to like talk or hang. You know, we just have <laughs> right. like little music playing. This hour of filled with cute little puppies is brought That'd to you by so North fun. Dakota Today. Just throwing treats We'll just be around. here cuddling them. <laughs> <Good stuff. laughs>